Author Author presents Back and Forth with Nez and Sven, a program of writing rants and rebuttals. Beta readers. I recommend every author try beta readers out at least once. I use beta readers consistently because there are times in the writing process when I need to test out my book on a complete stranger and get that kind of feedback. When do I use beta readers? Pretty much after I've gone through at least three drafts on my own, run a bunch of drafts through friends or colleagues or a writer's group, and I am getting closer to sending it in to an editor for a developmental edit. But before I want to spend any kind of money or engage at that point in the process, I still want to get the feedback from somebody who is unfamiliar with my work or maybe even unfamiliar with uh, the the book I am writing currently, and I just want to get that kind of blind feedback, somebody who's completely green to the whole thing. So um, that's when I usually engage them. Personally, I found my beta readers through Goodreads. Uh, there's a forum on there actually called Beta Readers, and what I did was I put a brief synopsis of my book into that forum. Uh, I got people interested that way, and then I actually read their profile on Goodreads to make sure that uh, they reviewed books consistently, they liked the genre I was writing about, and that uh, they seem like a, a, a good Samaritan in the Goodreads world. So I wanted to basically find someone I trusted and I suggest you do the same thing. You want to find someone you trust because otherwise it's just another opinion and you may be finding someone's making suggestions that really aren't valid. So make sure that you at least vet the person who's going to be reading your book. I've also found beta readers through writers groups through uh, writers' workshops and especially writers' conferences. Those are other great places to find beta readers. And out of all the interviews I've done, uh, a lot of authors have told me that they've gotten them through their email subscribers. And also BookPod is another source, although I've never tried that out myself. I like to engage odd numbers of beta readers, usually between three and five. Um, any more than five is you're, you're waiting a long time for the feedback. But three and five is kind of my sweet spot. And basically the feedback I get back Whatever is consistent, and I would have to say the majority is consistent, I usually address those points. Um, if I only get a comment from one beta reader, I might look at it, but most likely I'll toss it out. But the reason why I like odd numbers is because if there's a tie, there's always a tie breaker. So again, you know, if three people say one thing, two people disagree, I'll probably lean to the side that say three. So that's how I work. I'm going to start you off with the cliche. Opinions are like bungholes. Everybody's got one. I know plenty of best-selling authors who do not use beta readers. In fact, I don't know any writer who has a publisher who uses them. They're for novices. If you're insecure in your writing, then by all means, pull in a stranger. But if you're on the ball, then I don't see a point in engaging a stranger into your process. How often have you heard of people having success in a blind date or an arranged marriage? Makes no sense to me. This whole beta reading thing is uh, just a waste of time, okay? Uh, you want feedback? Join a writer's group or talk to a writer who's published books in your genre. Seek an expert who has advice and get people who know how to write and how to publish and how this industry works. Those are the people you want feedback from, not some douche rocking down the street. You, 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 you know what I'm saying here? Screw the masses. Like a broken noisemaker, I wish I could find the off switch on Nevs, but uh, alas, I'd like to hear what you think. Actually, we both would, so uh, please leave your comment below. Your opinion counts. Thank you. Cake Boy is trying his hand at metaphors again and uh, falls short of the mark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.